Hey guys, Lego Brick Fan 615 here, and today I'm very excited. I uh, just recently purchased the Lego Batman uh, movie. Uh, so yeah, it says Lego Batman the movie, DC Superheroes Unite, and I haven't actually watched it. I've been told about it though. Uh, my friend Ian, who's been in some of my videos, has seen it and he uh, has this as well. So yeah, um, here is, uh, I got this at FYE um, just recently. And here's the actual uh, disc, or not disc, but movie. Looks just like the case. Uh, it's got some Ninjago thing on it. And some Lego Land thing. And yeah, so the disc is in black and white, basically. Uh, so yeah. And it has the same thing on the back, if you guys wanna. You can't really read that, can you? Never mind. Basically the same plot as was in Lego Batman 2. And if there's any way I can. I'm going to try to get him out. So here's the guy. If you got it at FYE, like FYE, sorry, FYE, like I, uh, like I did, you get this awesome poster. And I haven't measured it yet, but it looks awesome. I'm sorry, it's glaring, but as you can see, it's basically like the cover. So yeah, I really so like that. So here's uh, an up close view of the Clark Kent minifigure, and he looks really nice. There's nothing on the back, no head back printing or no torso back printing. So yeah, there's this really awesome torso, and I'm gonna compare it to Superman in just a sec. So really cool, and uh, you can see, you know, the Superman like he's tearing his shirt open, and so yeah, his face looks pretty cool. Uh, you could actually use this on quite a couple of uh, different things, uh, different figures, you know, besides Clark Kent. So I think it's a really useful thing, and I also like how they included a different hair. Uh, but also some people may argue with that, especially since in the game he had the same hair as Superman. So yeah, let, now uh, let's compare him to the actual Superman. So yeah, here is a comparison of the two minifigures on their faces, uh, on both of their stern faces. Well, although he doesn't have a second face, on Superman's stern face. So you can see the torsos are pretty much alike. Uh, it seems that on this one, the Superman symbol is a little bit smaller. Maybe that's just me. I can't. I can't really tell. It's hard to tell. And you can see he's got the six pack there. And so yeah. And then there is the faces. And you can tell that they're basically both have the same like uh, cheek mark, cheekbones, and chin marks. And they both have the same uh, same mouth. And uh, yeah. So except this one's eyes are a little bit like more up on the head. But so yeah, you guys can see the differences. Uh, so yeah. Also, uh, you can see, I'll show you what Clark Kent would look like with the Superman hair on. Like he was in the game, and I haven't seen the movie yet, but he might be in the, uh, might be like that in the movie. So yeah, there he is with the, uh, Superman hair on, and it actually doesn't fit him as well. Um, as you can see, he's got basically a huge forehead, whereas this one it does. Uh, so yeah. That's my, my up close view of uh, cl the Clark Kent minifigure. Before I go, I do want to mention that uh, I got this for $15. Uh, so yeah, uh, hopefully you guys will get this soon. Um, I haven't seen the movie yet. Uh, a lot of you are probably not going to get it because it is the same exact plot as Lego Batman 2, but I think this is what most people will be getting it for, an awesome Clark Kent minifigure, which is what he is. I think he's awesome. Uh, so yeah, guys. Uh, this is like a brick fan 615 signing out.